Welcome to my little place on earth. Looks like it's a beautiful place to be, but it's just a wallpaper, of course. And here is Arklinx B X Monad. And there is one thing that I used to do. It's a workflow thing. I had this idea when I was working on i3. Let's make all the browsers come to Workspace One. Let's go for the editors on Workspace 2. 3 is going to be Inkscape. 4 is going to be uh, GIMP, etc, etc. So I had this setting in my mind and that's related to these lines here. These lines are around 70. My manage hook, etc. Here you can say to the system, if you'd like that, as a matter of fact, we don't like that. So that's why it's not in here. Uh, by default but let's say you'd like to have um, this guy workspace one is going to contain chromium vivaldi and firefox so this earth like symbol here this globe is the browsers if you want to tell xmonad look at xmonad anything browser like is going to go on the first one and the first one is actually this thing. At this point in time, I'm using this code. If you decided to change anything up here and changed it to this, then you need to change it here as well and say, OK, then this is workspace one for you. And the same applies if you're working with these Roman things or with letters. In the other videos, we've shown you that. So let's, this is still everything standard, right? So basically, this code is the code up there and save. So workspace one is this code and it reflects in here. What are we saying? If we have a class, an, an application that has a class name, blah, 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 which is blah, 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 that one, this is blah, blah, where the my one shifts delete okay and save again if you find something that has the class name um, containing chromium or vivaldi stable or firefox or waterfox or what else um, there's another one i've made well there are browsers enough just keep adding them and then you'll tell them to go to the first desktop that's basically what it says here but you shouldn't forget one thing and I just forgot that and that took forever and it needed even needed Nick's advice. How can I make it work? And that's the only thing we need. We need those dashes out of there and then we save it because this little thing is actually a parameter a variable. So that line needs to be there active and running. Otherwise it won't work at all. Now, this is just one rule. If you want to add more rules, just delete more lines. But let's try this already. That's how I proceed in any new environment. I change one thing, try it out, and then we can figure out, hey, what went wrong with this one line, not 10 lines in one go. So the class name, uh, maybe I should include that as well in the video. Let's do Chromium. Let's move over here, Super Shift D. Chromium. Let's do this. I'm going to teach you something first. Ctrl Alt T. There is always an application on the tiling window managers. Xprop. Give me the properties of X, the window. You click on this thing, whatever window you want to investigate. Click on it and you get lots of rubbish code. But the one that interests us here at this point in time is the class. If the class and it's the last one you need, this needs to be exactly like it is, you know, Linux, big C matters. So Chromium, big C, capital C needs to be here as well. Capital C and Vivaldi stable. It's not Vivaldi. It's called Vivaldi stable. If you start starting to type, you see at the top here, it's called Vivaldi stable, not Vivaldi. There's also Vivaldi snapshot and there's Firefox. All these things have been uh, discovered. Or we, we put it in because of the fact that we used Xprop. And now we're going to test it. So we are on number two, workspace one, workspace two. What we set is if the class name is 
Chromium, then go to number one, desktop one. First, super shift R to be sure that it's rebuilt and all. And then let's wait for Polybar, super shift D. And now you're gonna test it out. We are at this moment in time on Workspace 2. Where is Chromium going to start? On one. Where is Vivaldi going to start? On one. Where is Firefox going to start? That's the last one, I think. Also on one. So all these things work. This rule is applied. And we need just to wait till everything is killed. Voila. Everything killed. And this one line works. Meaning you can now add more stuff to it if you want to move things to like you see here. So my three, let's just do one more. Okay, one more, one more, just for the fun. So my three shift, we say, okay, it looks interesting to tell the system if it's going to be Inkscape, my friend, I want you to go to workspace three. Save, super, shift R. Let's, this is number three. Okay, so but let's move to number four, super, shift D, Inkscape. And where is it going to load? On number three. Personally, I would like the freedom to have the possibility to run Inkscape on number four or five or six, whatever, that's empty. But if you'd like to focus and if you would like a workflow where you set the application to a specific workspace, well, that's how it's done. All right, enjoy.